was uh, you were on the show where you had that girl. You're doing well. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Good. Good, good, good. I hope this is just as easy. Uh, so, you know what you'll be doing here today for the Beatles channel? You, uh, oh, no, this is my favorite four, right? Yep. You'll be talking, yep. Give me your favorite four songs and uh, tell me like 30, 60 seconds. Yeah, which one might have been? Yep. Playing all the DJ essentially. So. So, um, you sent lines to read as well, to, uh, do you have those? Or should I put those on the screen? Yeah, put them on, put them on the screen. Yeah, no problem. Let me share that with you. Alright. You ready? Yep, yeah, when you're ready, go for it. Yo, what's up? I'm Coolio with the flow, and this is the Beatles channel. Playing my Fab Four on Sirius XM. Shaka Zulu, man. I'm Coolio, and I'm playing some of my favorites on the Beatles channel. My Fab Four. Yo, Coolio here. Join me for some of my Beatles favorites. My Fab Four. Minutes from now. Happening right now. On Sirius XM 18, the Beatles channel. Fantastic. All right, so uh, when you're ready, you might as well, might as well just jump right into this. So, uh, I do want to start off with saying my first song, since we could go song by song, so up to you how you want to do it. I'll jump in if I need to, but uh, okay. I think you got this. So when you're ready, go for it. So I'm starting at number four and number one. Uh, it goes one, two, three, four. So okay. I'm going to start with the first pick, second, third. Yo, what's up? I'm Coolio with the flow, and my very, very favorite Beatles song, <laughs> probably yours too, is Hey Jude. I like Hey Jude because it just, you know, it gave you that, emo it had an emotional attachment for me, you know, it makes me, when I hear it, it makes me think about my mom. My mom passed away when I was a very young man. I was just starting my journey um, as, you know, for being a man. And, um, just, you know, it was, it was one of her favorites. So, you know, we played it in my house quite often. I think we had every Beatles album when I was growing up, you know, believe it or not. And my mother was a big music fan. I think that's probably why I got into music. I mean, we had everything from the Beatles to Steppenwolf to, to Johnny Taylor. I mean, you name it, we had it. So, yeah, my favorite, my favorite Beatles tune of all time is Hey my number two Beatles song is, of course, Let It Be. Let It Be is a very insightful song. It makes you think about yourself and what you, what you are to the world. You know, at least for me, that's what it does. Um, you know, it makes me, uh, it brings, back, brings me back down to earth when I, when I sometimes uh, may or may not get that big headed feeling, I'll start thinking I'm more than what I truly am. I listen to Let It Be, and you know, those words of wisdom, they hit me in the, hit me in the chest like, boom, boom, like Mike Tyson, one, two, and wake me up, and I, you know, get my mind right. My number three Beatles song of all time is Yesterday. And yesterday, once again, you know, the Beatles had a way of, uh, they had a way of reaching people's emotions and reaching reaching people's inner mind and making people think about think about life. So when I hear yesterday, um, I think about the problems of the world. I think about you know where we're going as 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 human beings and you know and what's going to happen tomorrow. Someone saw yesterday, but it makes me think about tomorrow. That's weird, I know, but it's the truth. And then my number four track, which I was juggling this one, uh, where to put it, but nowhere man. He's a real nowhere man, sitting in his nowhere land, making all his nowhere plans. For no one. I could have been a Beatle, man. 
I got to think, you know, my voice was a lot better than it is now. <laughs> so, if you know the Beatles, if the Beatles wanted, you know, a black Beatle, you know, I could have been a black. As a matter of fact, they should have had me on that black Beatles song, you know. I should have been, I should have been the fourth, the fourth uh, MC on the on the Beatles, Beatles, I mean, on the black Beatles, you know, along with Gucci Man. I, I would, I would set that, I would set that shit off. Man. Well, man. You know, I actually wrote a verse for it, but it's all good. Yeah, so nowhere, nowhere, man, nowhere, man is a, uh, it's, it's a good track. It's just catchy as shit, man. And lyrically, all four of these songs, lyrically, I would have to say, even for now, for right now, with the massive lyrical ability of quite a few artists on this planet. I think those four songs can stand against any song in history, maybe above a lot of songs in the history of mankind. And yeah, so I, I, I'm a Beatles fan, I always have been. I used to watch the Yellow Submarine cartoon on TV. Um, they had a series, uh, um, a lot of people don't know this, but they had a series for the Yellow Submarine. And the Beatles, the Beatles are true, excuse me, true icons and their contribution to, to, to music is, unf, you know, unfounded. It, it's, they, they went to a place during their time where you would never think music would go, and they reached such a massive amount of people of all races, creeds, religions. You know, you have people singing Beatles songs that, we're from religions where you're not supposed to listen to the devil's music, <laughs> or so, so to speak. That's what, that's what they call it. And but it was just so catchy and so so um, thought provoking that they couldn't help themselves. And I'm I'm one of those people who grew like I said I grew up with music in my house on a daily basis. Uh, my mother my mother would play. Music from eight o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock at night. You know, it was, it was quite a few days when we didn't watch TV. Of course, I grew up. You know, a portion of my life there was black and white television, bro. I am before color television. So, you know, think about sitting in front of this box, and you got about six channels, and they're all in black and white, and you're like, damn. I wonder what that suit looked like in real life. And of course, you, could, you, you wouldn't know because it was in black and white. So, listening to music, listening to music was a whole completely different experience back then because you didn't have all these other things to, these other avenues of entertainment like YouTube and, you know, um, Netflix and all these other avenues and, and Spotify, Sirius XM, you didn't have all this stuff. All you had was your music, you know. And we didn't play, we didn't play the radio that much. You know, my mother went out and physically bought that wax. She would have really brought those out. So we had a component set. If you don't know what a component set is, it's a turntable. The speakers hooked to it, and the turntable was built into this console that was probably about that thick, and it had the receiver, it had the amplifier, and it had the equalizer, if you had a good one, uh, all built in, and you put, and you could put a, a stack, you could put a stack of albums on it, what was I thought I said about seven albums, and you could play that A side all the way down, and then you flip the whole thing over, and you play the B side all the way down, non-stop, kind of like we do now, um, what I play this, but it was it was different then. And yeah, but you had to be careful to make sure that your component set didn't get too hot, because you didn't want it to warp your warp your wax and warp your album. And, you know, um, in my house, that would get you an ass whooping. If you warp one of my mother's albums, <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. Somebody somebody gonna have to somebody gonna have to wash some walls and. Scrub some baseboards to pay for that. You know, you, you, if you if you mess up my mother's music, her records, 
Somebody was going to have to pay. And it usually is not going to be her. She's going to have to buy a new one, but you're going to pay with your, you're going to pay with your hard work and your labor and, and, and chunks of that ass. You're going to get tore out by that belt. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm a music, I'm a music person and, you know, for all my life, you know, when people, people say they're dog, I'm a dog person, I'm a cat person, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a food person, well, I'm a, I'm a music person. Shout out to the man, pull you over the floor, that's my five four. Incredible. Um, that is really stunning. Can I ask you one more question? That's being Absolutely. Great. You um you referenced you briefly referenced the song Hell. You know, one, two, three, four. Something else. Is that right? Say that one more time. Hell. Yeah, hell. I need somebody. Yeah. That's can you talk about that using that song or just talk about that song, Calvert, one, two, three, four, whatever you want, just help. talk about that. I need somebody help, not just anybody help. Yeah, um, like I said, I I could probably sing a little bit of almost every Beatles song ever made. Um, because it just was it was a it was a staple in my house. It was a mainstay. So Making a reference to help was completely within the realms of my thinking. You know, just, just it is what it is. And I, I think I've referenced, I've referenced Beatles songs and, and, and other songs as well. Um, they just weren't, they just didn't happen to be singles. There were songs that were on the album or whatever. So always, you know, I'm, I'm all, I've always been a Beatles fan. I have Beatles days in my house. You know, I have Beatles days. Well, I, I, I'll get up and, um, I go to Sirius XM and I put on the Beatles channel and I will listen to it, listen to it all day long. And it, it pisses me off sometimes because sometimes you guys will play the same song within a one hour or two hour period when you don't have to. You can just, I mean, they have, they have enough music where I think you literally could go, if I'm not mistaken, about three, maybe four hours of different songs back to back. And you don't have you wouldn't have to play the same song over. And I'm talking about, you know, live live the live tracks and you know, they have they had quite a bit of quite a bit of music and I, I think I'm really you know, it upsets me sometimes to think that what they could have done, how much more music they could have made if they if they had the right people around them keep their heads right and to keep them focused and so that they will stay together and keep making that great music. You know, Paul went on to do his thing. Ringo went on to do something. And John, of course, was taken from us. And the other guy, I don't even remember his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway though, yeah. So, you know, but when they did their solo stuff, and I liked some of it, but it still wasn't anywhere near what they were as a group. Even Paul, in his infinite wisdom, was not, he was a Beatle, not the Beatles. So, it's, you know, it's just, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a travesty, a tragedy, and it's fucked up. <laughs> That it happened. That, it had to happen that way, but you know, at least they, at least we did get to have them for a short period of time. But imagine if the Beatles had made as many albums as the Stones. You feel me? Could have been man. It would have been. Hmm. It would have been a lot of groups that never made it. <laughs> if that had happened. Yeah, it would have been, uh, yeah, it would have been shut out. Exactly. Yeah. There would have been, there would have been, there would have been no, would have been no room for them. Yeah. They're like, why would I, why don't I listen to these mother, when I can listen to the Beatles? Why would I do that? You know, I just, that's just the way I feel. Hey, it still, it still happens. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. 34? How long have yeah. you, you been a Beatles fan? Uh, since I was a child. For as long as I can remember. As long as you remember, so 
some of the first music you listened to was the Beatles. Yeah, I remember very, very young watching their movies, Help and A Hard Day's Night. Just it's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. I mean, I remember that. Like, that, it's all coming back. It's all, like I said, it's just, ooh. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yeah, come on. Like I told you, I could, I could sing a little bit. I know a little bit of all of them. Anyway, though, um, it's been nice talking to you, my brother. And it's been a pleasure, real. real any, been, anytime you want to. Oh, make sure you tell everybody to um, check out the new single. It's called Out for the Bag. Um, I'm going to drop it on February 26th. Featuring my, my oldest son, AI, and my nephew, J. Clay. And I'm going to drop, also, I'm going to drop a single every 60 days in 2021. And in some of those 60 day periods, I'm going to drop two singles. So I can tell you what the, I can tell you what the first four singles are going to be off the top of my head. Um, out for the Bag, My Life, um, either Tag, or stand up be the hit. One of the two, I don't know which one. But Tag is featuring Too Short. I'm just gonna tell you that. And then um, My Life is once again featuring my my oldest son, AI. And My Life is, is one of them ones, bro. It's one of them ones that's on the level of the song. It's, it's not a party track. It's a listening song, it's a thinking song. And it's thought provoking and you know, hopefully, you know, to do what it's supposed to do, and that's bring people together. So, there it is. Peace and love. Fantastic. Peace and love. I'm glad you said that. We'll make sure that gets into the, sh the show. Yes, sir. Um, this will probably air in a few weeks. So, um, we'll all be in there. And, uh, yeah, it's a real honor. Real pleasure. Same, bro. been a big fan for a long, long time. Same, I appreciate it. Make sure you. Make yeah. sure you Make sure you reach out to, to, to my people and let me know when, when you guys post it because I love I definitely want to see it. I'm sorry, I am sorry, I'm, I'm it's morning. So I talk I talk in the morning. I'm, I'm talking no, in the morning. It's perfect. Yeah. No, it's good. We absolutely will let you know when this airs. Absolutely 100 percent You'll be able All to right. tell everybody, listen, be great. Thank right. you again.